Alright, Grish, Prosecutor uh, Managing Director and CEO of PNB Housing Finance joins us now. Grish, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, the quarter gone by, things have normalized. PAT is up 57%, calculated uh, NII up 7%. Can I say that PNB Housing Finance, after a couple of tough quarters, is back on track? Uh, yeah, I think uh, if you look at last uh, five, six quarters, there has been uh, very good performance in all the metrics. Even on growth on the retail side, we've grown by 14% on book. Uh, corporate, it was a conscious call to degrow the book and work on resolution. If you see last year, uh, last March, the NPA was 3.83%. Now we are down to 1.5%. I think overall, I can say about 75 to 80%, we are back on track. We still have a couple of more things to do, which we'll cover up in the next few quarters. Cost of borrowing moved because for any housing finance company, cost of borrowing is the most important yardstick to understand, especially when liquidity conditions are strong. On cost of borrowing as well, I think we have uh, you know, deepened uh, the mix, liability mix. Uh, for instance, in FI24, we, uh, we borrowed 3,000 crores from NHB, which was not there earlier. NHB funding comes at a lower cost, so that is one. We also got the rating upgrade from AA to AA plus, so that will also ensure that in next few quarters, our cost of borrowings will come down. And also, we started uh, borrowing from market in terms of uh, both CP and NCD. I think overall, if we look at the liability big, there has been a significant uh, improvement, and uh, we will reap the benefit in next few quarters. Okay. Uh... Are you back in growth mode because if your disbursements are growing between 15 to 17 uh, percent, can I say that FI25 could be the comeback and more importantly the growth is back now for PNB housing? I think we are already back on growth on the retail front. If you look at our uh, book growth, it is the highest in last five years. If we look at the disbursements, what we have done in quarter four, that is again all time high in last uh, four years. So we showed a growth of about 18.5% uh, on disbursements and 14% on book. So FI25, we are looking at book growth of 17% on retail. So disbursement will be about 24-25%. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's also understand what the outlook is when, it's, uh, when it comes to your corporate NPA because you had mentioned that you expect a complete resolution in the account in Q4, the corporate uh, NPA is still at about 1.1%. What's causing the delay here? When do you achieve, uh, plan to achieve this? Yeah, if you look at last March, we were at about 23% on corporate NPA. So now we are down to about three, little over 3%. We have just one small account, which is about 70 odd crores. So we were expecting resolution in quarter four. It slipped to quarter one. So quarter one, I think we can see that resolution as well. So hopefully we should be able to declare zero NPA on uh, corporate book. And given that the affordable housing vertical, the loan book there surpassed about 1700 crores in the fourth quarter, can we expect the growth rate to sustain going forward? Do you have any expansion plans here? Yeah, so if you look at the entire affordable book of uh, close to 1800 crores, which we have built in about 15 months time, this is from 100 set of branches. So we have added 60 more branches between December to March. So now we have 160 branches, which would start doing affordable business. So this growth is sustainable in the years to come as well. Is it true that uh, one of your deputy MDs was also the head of audit committee and he resigned? Any, and any particular reason he assigned to that? Uh, I think that was not in PNB House. Okay. And we don't have a deputy MD. Thanks for that um, update. And given the fact that you have also seen multiple credit rating upgrades in your uh, instruments recently, um, do you think that we can expect the cost of funds to decline over the next few year, uh, quarters? Yeah, we are expecting cost of borrowings to come down in the next few quarters. And not just that, you know, we are also moving towards uh, you know, segments which can give us better yields. Last year, uh, we started affordable in a big way. And this year we've launched emerging vertical. So I think FI25, about 40 odd percent of incremental sourcing would come in from affordable and emerging verticals. All right. And what about your corporate book as a percentage of the total book? Where does that stand? How much have you been able to uh, run it down by? What kind of target do you have? So today, if you look at the entire portfolio, corporate is 3%. 
and in terms of absolute it's about uh, 2050 crores so we plan to start corporate business sometime during this year maybe in h2 so we will slowly start growing that book as well okay girish great to have you on the show thank you so much as always for taking the time and speaking with us Okay, let me now welcome on board Suresh Iyer, the MD and CEO at Canfield.